This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Professor Robert Gilbert tells us about his research on targeting cancer mechanisms. What can structural biology tell us about cancer? Well, cells in our bodies are kept in control both by external contact and also by switching mechanisms which are internal to them. And structural biology allows us to look in atomic detail at the molecules which are mostly proteins which are responsible for those external contacts and for those switching mechanisms inside. And the great thing is that if we can understand those atomic structures, we can come up with ways of understanding what the mechanisms are that those proteins use, and then we can come up with inhibitors or other molecules which moderate how they act, and which therefore give us new therapeutic lines to follow. And what is the specific problem that you're working on? The set of signals we work on are internal signals to the cell, and they're actually made of RNA, a copy of parts of the DNA inside our nuclei. And what these RNA signals do is that they control the switching of a whole set of proteins associated with cancers. We're looking at the enzymes which regulate how those signals are matured and how long they persist. And if we can come up with a way of inhibiting proteins which stop them continuing to have their effect, that means we can come up with a new way of approaching cancer therapy that hasn't been tried before, because it's undercutting some of the other therapies we already have by switching off protein production at a very basic level, rather than trying to inhibit the proteins that we already know are involved in cancer, such as a variety of receptors and enzymes. And how might your research change the treatments? Our research might change the treatments because currently, for example, uh, a well-known drug is Herceptin, which targets a protein called HER2. And there are other drugs out there which target proteins, for example, one called BCL2, which is involved in blood cancers, Another one which we have inhibitors for is called cyclin D. And those are downstream, as it were, of the pro process that we are targeting. We're targeting a process which would stop BCL2 and HER2 and cyclin D being made and a host of other proteins which are involved. As a result, it could be a game-changing approach mm -hmm. to cancer therapy because rather than targeting, if you like, what we call the phenotype, the expression of a particular kind of characteristic in a cell, it's targeting a very fundamental aspect of cell biology. What are the most important lines of research that have developed in the last five to ten years? In my particular area, uh, I would say the most important area is, is, is the most important new development is the fact that we've come to this understanding of these RNA signals controlling what we actually call stem cell biology. So many people have heard of stem cells, but cancer stem cells are a particular subtype of stem cells, and they're important both in cancer spread and also its development and and. The more serious a cancer is, the more likely it is to have cancer stem cells involved. And the mechanisms we work on actually are mechanisms underlying the occurrence of cancer stem cells in the first place. And for my particular area, the particular area that we're addressing, what's especially important is that we now understand the way in which a particular subset of these RNA signals, which are called LET7 microRNAs, these microRNAs, how they target the production of proteins generating stem cell-like characteristics. So as you can see, it's a kind of undercutting of the basic biology of the cancer. Rather than allowing the cancer to spread and develop as it wants to, if you like, we're actually cutting off its capacity to adapt to the environment in which it finds itself and to cause disease in uh, distant parts of the body. And that is, of course, the most serious thing with cancers, really, that most people die of cancer spread, of metastasized cancer, rather than the primary tumour, which we first identify. Why does your research matter? Why should we fund it? I think my research matters because it has this capacity to provide an atomic resolution understanding of how it is that mechanisms controlling cancer act, but it also has the capacity to deliver novel approaches to therapy and novel inhibitors which would give us a new way of trying to target not just one cancer, but several different cancers with the same kind of treatment. Um, and in fact, the therapies we're pursuing are important for a number of what we call cancers of unmet need. The one we're particularly focusing on is non-small cell lung carcinoma, but it's also relevant to cancers such as pancreatic cancer and forms of brain tumour, which are very hard to treat, as well as a host of other cancers, including breast cancer, intestinal cancer. It's, very, it's appropriate to a lot of different cancers, and that is what is interesting, and that is what I think gives us a funding priority, if you like. It gives us a, a basis for justifying the funding that we receive, because we're taking this new kind of approach, and it could have a much wider spread than the kind of therapies that are developed to target just one kind of cancer or another. Finally, how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? 
So our translational contacts within the department and indeed within Oxford in general have been extremely important. So we've had a, an ex excellent partnership with the Target Discovery Institute and in partnership with them we've been able to develop new lines of research for them as part of our collaboration and it's been of great help for us to be able to access their expertise. At the same time we've also been working with colleagues in oncology who have particular expertise in lung cancer and can help us in cell testing of inhibitors that we identify. Um, and we, find, we feel, you know, with our Cancer Research UK funding relating to the Target Discovery Institute, also in partnership with Cancer Research Technology, the CRUK uh, drug discovery company, we are well placed to act to, you know, translate our work towards the clinic in an effective way. Indeed. Many thanks.